Mr. Peabody is um, a genius. Uh, he is also happens to be a talking dog, which I guess makes him by default a genius anyway, but he is, in addition to being a talking dog, um, uh, you know, the Nobel Peace Prize winner, uh, um, an incredible athlete, uh, basically every skill on earth is Peabody's skill. Um, but more importantly, I think he's a dad. I think the most, that, the, that's the thing that's most important to me is that Peabody is actually a dad. It's kind of a crazy character to play because I am so not perfect that, but to play this character that doesn't make any mistakes essentially, um, except in fatherhood, he is learning to basically uh, make himself more vulnerable to, to his kid and how to kind of express that. Um, but yeah, I would say those are the two main things about Peabody, is that he is a genius, but he's also a really devoted dad. Sherman, who's played by Max Charles, who is just so charming, is such a lovely young actor, um, is such a sweet, earnest, you know, well-intended kid. Uh, it's impossible to not love him, and I think really you see why Peabody is so committed to, to Sherman, but also why he's willing to kind of, uh, it's really the only way in which Peabody changes. Our kids are adopted as well, so it, it's a very meaningful, th this has been an incredibly meaningful experience. That wasn't really part of the function of the TV show was to kind of get into that aspect of the relationships, but um, I'm really glad that the film is doing that because it, it really works. I mean, obviously, you know, I'm like, nobody's gonna be adopting, no dog is gonna be adopting a child, not in the next few years. Give it a little bit of time. No, um, but, uh, but there's a universality to the idea that you don't have to be flesh and blood with somebody to love them uh, unconditionally. Um, and that idea really comes through in the film. It's really powerful, I, I found, which is so funny to say about an animated film, but. No, I didn't really get to work with a lot of the cast on, on the film, which is true of a lot of animated films, but we did get the opportunity to work uh, with Max and I together, who's Sherman, um, and that was incredibly fun. He's such a talented young actor. Um, I have the opportunity to work with Ariel every day on my show. She plays Penny, and uh, she plays Alex on my show, and she's an incredibly talented uh, actor, but all the other, you know, um, incredible actors I didn't get to work with. But so I'll, I'll be meeting them at the premiere, which is always such a funny thing, but I think they're so talented, you know, I'll, I'll be happy to tell them how, how big a fan I am. Honestly, in the car, uh, on the way over to recording sessions, I, st I always start by listening to one of the classic episodes. And then I, f from, that, from that episode, would then f kind of find my way back into my voice. And then doing like really corny old um, theater exercises because he's, he's very precise. It's a very precise character. So like, you know, consonants and things have to be really clear. So you like actually do like, you know, stretching, <laughs> basically. Oh man, so many places. I'd want to go back to high school and change my hair. Um, I'd want to go back to high school and make sure that I, it, pretty much all high school. There are a few sequences in the film that I love because they're, they're sort of chain reaction, sort of full of action, um, incredible opportunities for great like animation and character where they're, uh, in, um, in France and Marie Antoinette uh, or Robespierre ends up chasing them and they're in the, the belly, uh, underbelly of France and then they're shot out and being chased. And you know, it's just several of those. There's one where they're um, in Egypt and it actually is very much, um, you know, sort of Raiders of the Lost Ark and trying to make sure they, you know, step on the right stone and, um, I think I think it's going to be a really fun 
it, there's a, a lot of it that's an action film. I laughed a ton. I laugh a ton at Max Charles's because he's so wide-eyed and innocent in his vocal work, and also the animation. Um, honestly, all of the the major historical figures in this, and some of them I don't know their names. Some of them are more famous, you know. Um, but the Robespierre, the the Da Vinci, the um, Agamemnon stuff—it's all just really hilarious.